we did this, what if we put up six eights and asked them to represent it, and then we put up two eights and asked them to represent it, and then asked them That's to compare? That's going to solve a whole lot of issues. We will compare fractions by reasoning about their size. By reasoning about their size. So at the beginning of the grant, we knew that we would focus on math, and we knew that we believed that conceptual understanding would get kids farther. Maybe it would take longer, but we believed ultimately it would change kids' outcomes in life more directly. The goal wasn't just to raise test scores. It's to make sure they have as many options as they can have when they leave here. To us, it's a social justice issue. The number of pieces you get. Okay, so the numerator is number of pieces. If you agree that numerator is the number of pieces, can you show me a thumb, please? The big surprise for us is it didn't take longer. We really thought focusing on conceptual understanding would actually be the long road. But in two years, we've matched the district test scores on the MSP in all areas, in all grades. Um, I think for us though, the most exciting part is when you look at kids who were very well below, kids who are just a little bit below, and kids who are at, not only are more of our kids at standard, but the number of kids who are well below is fewer than the number of kids who are well below across the district. So the neediest learners have actually risen faster than even our almost their kids. So overall that's great, but for us, those kids who might be left behind are being left behind much less than we even thought they would be, much sooner than we thought they'd be. So how do I say six eighths? How many would I shade in? Six, 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 six.